went to Harbor Freight and I wanted to make this tool kit. My wife gave me an idea to make a tool kit for the vehicle. So I was like, hey, I'll go to Harbor Freight and get all the stuff there. So my goal was to spend around $150. I uh, hit one after taxes. $166 is what I hit. Um, but I went over on a couple items. So one of the items here was I, I really wanted to see what the jumper cables were like. This is the two gauge 20 foot long ones. Um, now they're 44 bucks and it's not really a two gauge wire. I think it's the, the insulation is a little thick, but for the price, these are pretty decent. They come in a hard case. So got those and then kind of splurged I guess on this this little AC compressor or this little compressor here it says not to inflate vehicle tires but for emergency you know why not uh, it hooks to your cigarette lighter has a little switch um, this thing's like ten dollars we got zip ties crescent wrench got a tire or a plug kit for tire repair kit duct tape got a small ball, ball peen hammer could have went this is a 16 ounce could have got a 24 ounce for I think a dollar more but I just went with a little bit smaller one um, got a pair of vice grips I spent a couple extra dollars on these ones here um, got a socket set now when considering the socket set um, I we I was talking to some buddies about this and decided to get to go with 12 point sockets because some things might be 12 point and a six point will not work but a 12 point will work on everything and another thing to consider which you can make this a little bit cheaper I think this was like 21 bucks for this particular set um, the most vehicles are metric nowadays all my vehicles are metric this has metric and standard uh, but the one thing to know what I would say if you're doing just metric, make sure you get down to an 8 millimeter. This goes down to 10. But your battery post, um, your side posts are a 5 16ths or an 8 millimeter. But this one has a 5 16ths on it. So it goes from 5 16ths to 7 eighths. And from 10 millimeter to 22. Uh, it does skip 18, 20, and 21. But, you know, decent little kit. It has a holder for it. And then I got a set of extensions. And then we got our little bag here. I think it's like eight bucks. Um, and then we got a basic plier set, you know, kind of just <laughs> something to work with. And then this screwdriver set. And the reason I went with this particular screwdriver set was because it had the multi bit driver and it had some multi bits. So that way you can get Allens and Torxes in with this kit and just, you know, a variety of screwdrivers. Um, now this is a basic kit. My goal, like I said, was $150. So you could always change this. And like the idea was behind it was, okay, I want to make a kit for a vehicle. So what would be a basic kit and I can make it for each vehicle I own? And then let's say, you know, I was somewhere and it's like, oh, I need to go pull something out of, you pull it. Well, I got a kit in the vehicle, a basic kit that I can get stuff. Now, you don't have to get it all from Harbor Freight. I was just trying to give a one-stop shop to get a basic kit. Um, you know, I found some different socket sets like on the Amazon, some DeWalt ones that weren't too bad. Or you could spend a little extra on it, get a little bit better of a kit. Um, you know, I would say pry bars, a couple pry bars that would fit in this bag. And I tried to make everything so it fit in the bag. And the jumper cables is the, is the only thing that won't fit in here. Um, the One of my buddies recommended a four-way lug wrench, a collapsible one. I don't know if it'll fit in this bag. I forgot to check when I was at Harbor Freight. But they do have some there. I think they're like eight bucks. Um, but, you know... You do probably have, 
you know, a socket here to do your lugs. Uh, you might just need more leverage, you know, which four ways help, but you also need to get a hammer. So, um, just some ideas. Uh, maybe some fuse, uh, some extra fuses, some basic wire connectors. I thought about electrical tape and I was thinking about it. I'm like, you know, with duct tape, you can use it as electric, electrical tape. It's a quick kit to get off the road. Um, so that that is the basics. Uh, now I'll see if it all fits in here. everything put in the bag um, kind of one thing I was thinking about here when you're when you're going there and getting tools and you got like the let's say your plier kit or whatever um, if you're making kits for multiple vehicles like some of that stuff has kind of redundant things in it so you could split it up so the overall kit will be a little bit cheaper um, like you know the vice grips um, I could have bought a kit for a little bit more and it came with three pairs in it. So stuff like that. Uh, there are different sizes but that doesn't really matter. Uh, same with your crescent wrench, stuff like that. The compressor I decided to leave it in the package just so, you know, because with all the wire and the bits and stuff in it, I just, it fits in here, everything zips up. Um, so you can see everything fits pretty easily. There's still some more room in this kit. Um, kind of got it ready to go, so you know, God can't go without zip ties. So there might be some stuff that, like, you know, as far as electrical connectors, you might already have in your garage to throw in here, or like, you know, I have a a tire kit here. This kit, like, the idea of it is, you're on the side of the road, you need to get something fixed real quick, just you know, to get you off the road. Um, that was kind of the idea behind it. So. I don't know, 150 bucks and get a small air compressor, I guess. It's not too horrible. And the jumper cables. But you can go like 15 bucks cheaper on your jumper cables and get the uh, 4 gauge. Uh, yeah, so that's basically it. I'll put, I'll try to put a link in for everything, all the tools. Um, you know, another thing I was thinking about, your, <clears throat> if you're wanting to go find, you know, cheaper deals like these bags or something like that. You go on the marketplace and you find, oh, miscellaneous tools, cheap, five bucks for a bunch of tools. Grab them and make the kit and then just supplement what you need out of the other stuff. I mean, this I figured it was all new. I could make a few of these for each vehicle and just toss them in there. And I was even thinking, you know, for Christmas or a gift, making a kit like this instead of buying those roadside kits because this is going to be a better setup and heck 150 bucks not horrible and yeah.